All right, I am low-key hyped. I'm high-key hyped because I did one of my best combos to date first try on camera. So anyway, this is not about that. Uh, you can see that on my Instagram if you really want to or in a future video down the road. But let's get into this new episode of Combat for Dummies where I teach you yet another bow staff trick, uh, specifically a bow staff trick, about how to do a hand spin or a palm spin with your bow staff. Now, let's get into it. Before we get into, man it's hot, before we get into the actual trick, uh, I just want you guys to know the reason I'm teaching you um, martial arts tricks in a combat for dummies web series where I go over combat, uh, it's because that having the body control, having the weapon control to be able to pull off these tricks is vital in even basic martial martial arts and weapon combat. Being able to pull off the crazy uh, tricks that you see a lot of in movies and in uh, videos on YouTube and Instagram, all that stuff. The having the uh, control to be able to do that allows you to be able to perform the uh, more effective techniques to that level of control as well. So that is why I teach, you know, uh, both uh, effective and not effective techniques on this show. All right, so we're going into our palm spin. This palm spin is basically you spinning it just like that on your palm above your head. Now, there are variants where you can go in and start jumping it up, or uh, there's a variant that I'm working on where you pop it off and pop it back up with your knee. I'm not gonna try that right now because half the time I still hit myself in the face and I don't really wanna do that with my glasses on because I will break them and that won't be fun for me. So, um, let's get into it. So a couple things you wanna learn before you start working on that trick. First, you wanna be able to know that, hey, if your hand's above, in front of your face, it's not gonna work, because this slant is not gonna be good. What you want it to be is directly above your head, so that there's no slant in your hand, and if that has to be uh, closer than you know what you think, that's okay, because having your hand close to your head and flat is better than having away from your head and tilted, because this slant will cause it to fall. This will stay. If it's too far away from your head, it will not work. So you can't be afraid of your weapon when you're doing this. So let's get let's get to it. You're going to take your bow staff. You're going to grab with your right hand, back of your fist facing away from you. You want to see your fingers. Now you're going to put it on your right hip, just like this. Now once it's on your right hip, you're going to keep the palm facing up as you spin it all the way around above your head and then open your hand. Don't spin it yet, just open your hand. Make sure you have that balance. If you don't have it balanced, make sure you're grabbing A, the center of your bow staff because it's falling off, you don't want that to happen. And B, you have it on the center, you don't want it rolling forward. If it's rolling forward, like that, then that means you have your hand tilted in one direction or the other. So you wanna make sure you can hold it flat just like that now once you get that trick take time and practice that don't rush through it once you get that trick you're gonna want to do it a little bit faster and then just let go of your bow staff keep your hands flat don't wiggle your fingers I know it looks like I'm wiggling my fingers but I'm not my hands are sta my hands staying flat it's the shadows that make it look like I'm wiggling my fingers so and later on down the line you can wiggle your fingers to make it look cooler but the base trick Start with your hand flat and slowly spin it. And as you get better, you can spin it a little bit faster and a little bit faster until you can do it pretty fast, pretty, pretty, a nice decent speed. And then once you get good at that, you can try going into it from other tricks. You can go around the hips, over the hand, and then up. You can go up to around the hips and a toss, just like that. I was about to hit you, why? Why did she, she walks up like right next to me when I'm doing these tricks. I don't understand but anyway start working that and then once you feel comfortable really really comfortable you can start to pop it up above your head and first you know just try to catch it just try to grab it then you can start going to where you can pop it up and keep it spinning when it lands so 
those are a couple variations of the palm spin that you can work on at home again make sure you are outside uh, away from everything away from glass away from anything that you can break and away from your dog unless she decides to walk up on you because she trusts me or something something crazy like that but whew, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I <laughs> Love bow staff. It is again my second favorite weapon out of all weapons, so it's pretty high up there. Uh, and if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see a special trick that you've seen me do, whether it's on YouTube or on Instagram, whatever it is, if you want to see a special, a certain trick or a certain technique, let me know, and I will be happy to go to go and break it down step by step for you guys to learn. Till next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out. Hey, Jack. Let's go.